Hey, this is John Carlos, and as an old school 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie fan, I am very excited to review for you guys the Casey Jones mask from that 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. This is a replica made by NECA. Uh, it's hand painted, exceptional detailed reproduction of Casey Jones' mask, adjustable straps that allow you to wear it, hanging on the wall, displayed on a mannequin head, made of heavy duty ABS plastic. Adjustable straps, wearable replica. Yeah, so let's check it out. Because I personally love prop replicas and stuff. And I really like NECA's work. So I'm dying to check this out. Um, just my love of the movie, my love of NECA. This is just really up my alley. Hopefully up yours too, and that's why you're watching. Comes in this little plasticky little tray. Very simple, basic packaging. I like that. And here we go. Uh, we'll take a closer look at this in a second. I'm just taking a look at it out of the box. Uh, there's a couple things I was hoping to see. And uh, one of the things that I'm very happy to see right out of the box is the little chin section here. It'd be very easy for a company to make the mask flatten and not have this little lip right here. But in the movie, he does look up a few times. You can see that the mask comes down like an inch past the chin, inward. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, the shape of the eyes looks good. Uh, from what uh, I've seen of the movie. And uh, the straps were one of my main concerns. Um, only, I say concern because I was just curious if there's even going to be these little buckles on the straps or they're going to be just standard straps. They're like a, like a canvassy strap, which... I don't know if they were just canvassing in the movie. Uh, I've never upgraded to Blu-ray. I only have it on DVD. So uh, I can't tell you in high res what these uh, read like. But if you see these straps, they're very flippity floppity back here. In the movie, they're not that floppity. In fact, in the movie, the, the top strap, at some point, I don't know how they threaded it, because it still goes through this top little hole, but it... At this buckle, like it, it's backwards here, and it, it, in fact, it tends to flare up a little bit. So I might try to re-thread, although it's sewn in the back. I don't know, I'm just rambling. But uh, yeah, there's a little bit of re-threading to do there. I would already imagine, I'm just going to put it on. Uh, we'll discuss in a second. It's, it fits over my big head if I need to adjust things. I might need to uh, adjust things, yep. See, kids, I have a very large head. Like, a huge head. It's, uh, uh, I'd call it a fat head. Some people would say I'm very thick skulled. Uh, <laughs> either way, uh, some adjustments need to be made to get the bottom around my huge noggin. All right, there we go. Um, see all this? I'm gonna have to do something about this if I'm ever gonna like wear this to like a costume party or rock it at a con. Um, I would recommend if someone cares that much, you could just safety pin it from the inside. And that way you don't have to have it flapping around and you won't see anything securing it. I mean, you could cut it. I wouldn't recommend cutting it, especially because you want some strap to be able to adjust. But yeah, there, there are different things you can do to hold that down. But once that's held down, come on, look at this. This is great. Uh, there is foam in the forehead area. I was expecting foam in the nose, but the way this is designed, this doesn't actually rest on your nose. There is a considerable space here. Uh, it's only really touching my cheeks and my forehead. Um, I can breathe out of it pretty good. There's no like uh, resistance there. It's not getting all warm and gross. I'm not feeling any like moisture buildup, so that's good. Because there is some ventilation right here under the, the chin. Um, when I do place it right where my eyes should be, it does appear to just barely clear my chin. But not my chin fat when I do that. But, um, yeah. Let's take a close-up look at this now. One of the things I'm really liking about this is that it's a very screen-accurate sculpt. Not just the little eye socket shape, but the nose, the mouth breathing area. Uh, totally screen-accurate. Same thing with the bridge of the nose. In particular, the this arch right here, kind of like the brow ridge. That scoop right there looks totally screen accurate. Same with the uh, the edge of his cheek there. 
Uh, great, great job. Also, uh, the, the forehead, because this, this sculpt starts to fade away. If you look at the movie, it totally does that. So this looks great. The one kind of thing that doesn't look great, if I want to be nitpicky, but it's a review, so why not, is uh, right here, there's a little scratch in the paint. You can see a little black line uh, against the white. Um, and also, right here, I don't know if it's reading on camera, but there's like a hair, like a fiber that is underneath the paint, and you could totally see like the shape of this little fiber sticking out. But I won't hold that against this, because I mean, when you look at it, it still just looks like a nice, white, clean mask. Um, another thing worth pointing out is that uh, there is a paint job to this because the basic uh, surface is, you know, ABS plastic. But as you can see from the inside, it's reads kind of muted. There is a paint job over here to give it a slightly more uh, reflective surface. It's not super shiny, uh, but it, it does have uh, you know, light does kind of bounce and move off it. It gives it kind of that shiny plastic look that it had in the movie, whereas the pure ABS, not so much. So you can even see right there on the edge where... Uh, the ABS, the white ABS ends and the white paint begins. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied by how this turned out. It retails for about $34, $35.99, but I'm seeing it a lot of places for $29.99. And I absolutely think this is worth $30. Bucks. Um, it's, it's not just like a flat piece of plastic where you're wondering like, why am I paying $30 bucks for a flat piece of plastic? Like there's a good sculpt to it. There's some design that went into this. Also the fact that it's a white paint job and not just your basic plastic, like I see that I'm paying for the paint job, the sculpt, the straps, the buckles. Uh, awesome. And I love that they included two pieces of foam on the inside here, not just one piece of foam, because the two allow for it to meet the two different angles and meet your rounded forehead instead of just one kind of floating there. So I like that some, some forethought went into this. I'm going to put this on again. As an old school fan, I am very, very excited about this. I remember seeing Ninja Turtles in theaters opening day. And when Casey Jones jumped out in the park wearing this mask, every kid in the theater was like, oh, Casey Jones, Casey Jones. I already liked the character from the cartoon show and from the toys, but seeing him live on screen in this awesome movie, rocking this awesome mask, like seeing him live action with this was amazing. And having this on my face right now is amazing. Because I loved Ninja Turtles as a kid, but I've never forgot how much I love Casey Jones. And now I'm a 37-year-old man who loves this replica mask. I've actually thought about getting a mask in the past, like custom masks over the last decade. And I'm glad I waited because this, for 30 bucks, it's lightweight. It doesn't weigh down your head. It looks great. So, yeah, totally satisfied. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. <laughs>